neutralize the pupa AI weapon.
parts on the exterior of the machine, the memory boards that control those parts should light up. You can tell what a memory board does by looking at its color when it lights up. No good! That one's broken! Snake, I got another report from the R&D team. They finished converting Mother Base into a hex plant. MSF's capabilities are up across the board, too. Our combat team's contracts keep increasing. We're seeing action on a daily basis, and we're raking in a ton of GMP. Now this is how a business is supposed to look. At this rate, the sky's the limit. We're just getting started, Snake. Keep up the great work. Snake! I'm proud to announce that preparations for Metal Gear Zeke are complete. We can activate it any time. Got it. Thanks, Huey. No need to thank me. At least now I can finally say I helped you with something. You can use it in Outer Ops, too. Just select Zeke when you're forming your unit. Be sure to take it out for a field test. Okay. You can change weapons and check memory boards just like before. Use your observations from a field test to make any adjustments. A work in progress, huh? There's something I need to discuss with you, boss. Get to the point, Kaz. We recovered the nuclear warhead that was loaded onto Peace Walker from the bottom of Lago Kolsibolka. What? Warheads are radioactive, even if they're relatively stable. If we just left it there, it would contaminate the lake or fall into the hands of terrorists. Creating another crisis. Right. So while the White House is figuring out how to cover its ass, I thought we'd take some precautions. What did you have in mind? Load it onto Zeke. What? What else would we do with it? Zeke is our deterrent. To protect ourselves from nuclear attack, we need a nuclear weapon ourselves. Ah. Uh... Of course, if you're not on board, we could always dispose of it. But it won't be easy getting another nuke. This is a golden opportunity. We could always get rid of it later. Load it onto some fishing boat and leave it out in the middle of the ocean. No one would ever know it's there. But if you want to get rid of it, boss, we'll get rid of it. No, don't. As long as there are nukes out there, we need one ourselves if we're going to be a world power. I knew you'd see it that way, boss. So as long as we stand apart from nations, we need something to put us on equal footing. In a way, MSF is a country itself. And we just became the world's seventh nuclear power. Nuclear power... Thank you. 
Hansen. Commencing mission. You're in for some heavy combat with this one. Try and make it back in one piece. How's the Zeke AI different from Peace Walkers? Zeke's AI isn't a replica of the human thought process. It isn't programmed to make decisions about nuclear retaliation. <sighs> On the other hand, it is capable of highly independent action in combat when given orders from a pilot. It can protect infantry, destroy the enemy, and, if ordered... Launch a nuke. Let us hope it never comes to that. My sentiments exactly. I gotta say, I'm surprised you helped us arm Metal Gear with nukes. What of it? Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful and all, but... You sure about this? They may be for MSF self-defense, but... They're still nukes. It's essentially the same thing as Peace Walker, which you despised. See, that's exactly it. What is? You don't hide your motives. You tell the truth. That's what makes you different from those CIA bastards. They lay on the charm, win you over. And then, when things get hairy, they turn their backs on you. I'm just telling it like it is. Which is why I get the feeling that you wouldn't be stupid enough to use them. Okay, I'll come out and say it. I trust you. You give me too much credit. You think so? Besides, there's more uses for bipedal locomotion technology than weapons. We make it small enough, and it could have applications in robotics and prosthetic limbs. Maybe one day I'll even be able to walk. Hmm. Nice thought. I want to stand on my own feet. Be master of my own fate. And I'll use your strength to help me do it. If you don't mind, of course. Nah. It's a fair enough deal. Thanks. People can change, I know. But I trust you, Snake. I trust you to be the guy I know now. The pupa increases its mobility by using compressed air to hover its rear section. It moves by means of its treads and boosters. 
Those boosters also provide the propulsion needed for high-speed movement. So if I take out the boosters, it won't be able to charge. Right. I suppose you could also avoid its attacks by lying down beneath it. The pupa is also equipped with electrical shock units. It uses these devices, they look like lightning rods, to direct discharge. Guess I should pull the plug on those too. Good idea. What else? Well, as with all AI machines, you can incapacitate the entire unit by taking out the AI itself. If you can get the hatch open and climb inside, you can pull out the memory boards. Lights out AI! We may be able to use those boards for ourselves. If you can, try and get inside the AI pod and have a crack at it. You won't be able to do that until you've damaged it enough to stop it from moving first. Got it. Usual tactics first, then. neutralize that armored vehicle somehow. They're trying to find you. Make sure they don't. What is it? Enemies close by! Go around! Next!